Hey, what's up, YouTube? Your boy, Chris. I'm out in the Caliente garage. In this video, I will be showing you how I installed my black ring of fire for my 2016 Honda Goldwing. If you guys watch the oil change video, I removed the original Karayak and chrome rotor covers and ring of fire from my Honda Goldwing. I wanted to change the look and go with something different. So I will be putting on some black ring of fire for my 2016 Honda Goldwing. Now keep in mind that these black ring of fires are not the Karayakin brand. I actually picked these up on Amazon about six months ago and I just wanted to change the look of the Goldwing. The ring of fire originally came in a matte black but I painted them in a glossy black to give it a shinier look. However, in this video, it's not going to be a step-by-step -step installation, but I will show you how I install the black rotor covers and ring of fire on my 2016 Honda Goldwing. So let's get started. In this portion of the video, I'm removing the front fender with a six millimeter T-handle Torx bit. In this portion of the video, after removing the front and side fenders, I took some mild soap and warm water to clean off some of the brake dust and debris around the rims and tires on the front of the Honda Going. The Amazon front rotor covers came with its own hardware, but in my video, I will be using some of the hardware that came on the original Karayak and front rotor covers and ring of fire. The aftermarket lower brackets for the rotor covers did not come engraved right or left, so to identify each side, I took the original brackets from the Karayakin and I marked the aftermarket brackets right or left using a black magic marker. In this portion of the video, I'm using a ratchet to remove the lower pinch bolts on the left lower side. To speed up the process, I will be using my small hand air tools just to make the process a little bit faster and then I will finish off my final adjustments using hand tools. I'm hand threading the bolts before using the small air tools. I've installed the lower pinch bolts brackets. I've reinstalled the fork covers and now I can go back with the rotor covers. I'll just get it started. I'll come back and snug it up once I'm finished. In 
In this portion of the video, I'm basically running the lights from the ring of fire up the forks into the area that housed the connector that powered the previous 12 volt ring of fire. And I basically am repeating the exact same steps on the left side as I did on the right. I installed the fork cover and then I was able to put on the rotor covers. In this portion of the video, I'm putting back the fenders and the rotor covers using the previous hardware and bolts that I had, but the aftermarket rotor covers does come with its own hardware kit. So now I have the black ring of fire installed on the front wheel. I need to get the lights inside the ring of fire connected. So I have the connections here from the previous ring of fire. These are the ring of fire that I'm taking off and I'm going to use this plug. So that way, whenever maintenance is performed on the bike, I could just unplug the ring of fire. So I just got to get the ring of fire connected to the existing plugs. So since it doesn't have a plug, I'm going to cut the plugs off the ring of fire. And if so, I can always connect them back later. Just going to cut this plug off. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to expose the wire and connect it to the wires on the black ring of fire. So I'm going to strip off the outer part of the wires. I'm going to strip off the outer part, being careful not to cut the internal wires. So I'm going to just plug one of them up. And I'm going to verify that I got power to the end of the wires. Choose device A. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. I'm just going to verify. So I'm going to connect all of the red with the reds. And the blacks with the black or negative with the negatives. And the thing about these ring of fires, it doesn't have turn signals. So they only just come on when the ignition is on. They don't blink or anything. So I don't have to worry about putting it on the right and left side. So I'm just, I just want to make sure that the lights are going to work before I button everything back up. So I'm basically just bench testing it on the bike before I get everything buttoned back up. So when I turn on the bike, the ring of fire should light up. So let's turn on the bike. Choose device, the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. So as you can see, the lights are on. So now we can get everything uh, wired up permanently. So I'm going to use these heat strength connectors 
and these connectors will form a watertight seal. just using some heat to seal the connection In this portion of the video, I'm making sure that all of the wires are zip tied and that the handlebars are able to turn right to left without pulling on any wires. I'm going to turn on the front ring of fire. This device is the Bluetooth device is connected successfully. I like the way everything turned out. Everything looks good. Everything is wired up. So, so far everything turned out really good. The only thing remains is to take it out for a test ride, bring it back and wash it. So this is going to conclude the video. If you guys have any questions or any comments, put it down in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys later. See you.